can count on me They've broken all the rules, they broke your heart, it's torn Hey guys, it's Ava. So, I promised you guys on Instagram that I was going to show you how to make a DIY brush holder. So, it's a really cute and fun and very fast DIY project that I feel like all of us can do. It's very simple and affordable. I only spent $12 on all of this stuff at Michael's Craft Store, and you still don't even have to buy all the supplies that I used. Really, all you need is a glass bowl and some beads, but if you want to personalize it a little bit more, you can buy some of the extra stuff that I got. This project took me less than 10 minutes, and I just think that it was so fun to make and so fun to film and it looks really really cute in a room so it's the perfect kind of centerpiece so yeah at the end of the video I'll have my shout outs for the weekend and I will see you after the video I guess so enjoy my DIY if you like it remember to thumbs up the video and subscribe if you haven't already and at the end of the video I want you to comment down below some ideas for the next DIY or the next video that you want to see I would really appreciate that so without further ado let's get started on the tutorial so you're first going to need some filler beads, and mine are from Michael's Craft Store, and I just got the silver ones because I feel like silver goes with everything. Then you're going to need a glass bowl, and it could be any shape or size, but I chose a circle one because number one was the cheapest, and number two, I thought that it would fit all my brushes. And number three, you this is totally optional, but you can get a cute little charm. This is on clearance from Michael's, and you'll see how we use this later. And then I'm going to be taking some craft beads, and this comes in a string, and it's 99 cents at Michael's. I'm going to need two of them for this project, and you'll see how I use those as well. Now I'm just taking my bowl and laying it out on a flat surface, aka my floor. And then I'm going to be taking my filler beads and just opening them up with some scissors. After you have your filler beads open, you can just go ahead and simply just pour them into whatever container you're using to hold your brushes. And once you're done, you can kind of even it out by shaking it to get the perfect kind of horizontal line. Okay, so now you're going to get your other supplies and a hot glue gun. So now you're going to take your beads, and I really like these beads because they came on a string. So at Michael's, when you get these types of beads, I want you to leave on the string that it comes with. So I'll show you right now what it looks like. Just don't cut that off. Just leave that on. So now you're just going to go ahead and choose where you want the beads to go, and I'm going to put them at the top of the bowl. So then you're going to make a line of glue, and I recommend not doing the entire bowl at once. I recommend doing it in kind of like three inch increments. That sounds like a good number. So just continue to glue the beads on in three inch increments. So after you're done with your first round of beads, you can always go and take your second one, which is why the second one comes in handy. They're only 99 cents. So just glue that on. And remember to not forget that you are keeping the beads on the string. Then when it comes to the end, just take a pair of scissors. I'm using some baby scissors because I couldn't find my real ones. But they work just the same. You're going to snap that off. And now I'm taking my little applique that I got from Michaels, and I think this is really, really cute, and it adds the perfect touch. So what I'm going to do is just kind of measure that out, and I'm going to want it directly in the middle as the perfect kind of frame to everything. Then just squirt on some glue in a big ball, and immediately after, so it doesn't dry, plop that on to wherever you want it, and press very hard to evenly distribute the glue. Check it out. Yeah. Word on the street is that you sing so baby, have you heard my single? And now I want my bow to be a little bit more profound and sticking out like it's kind of stuck onto there. So I'm just going to add a little bit of extra glue onto the bow and then I'm just going to kind of smush that into place. Even when you wake up without any makeup, time and love. Cause I'm so tired of the same old things I'm gonna need. 
If you want to, you can glue down the other sides of the bow strings, but I decided not to. Now you're going to have a lot of extra beads, so what I did was I just pushed those into the top of the bowl to add a little bit of extra shine and sparkle to the inside. And there you have it! You can add in your brushes now, but this is the beautiful and gorgeous and very vintage look that I went for. This is perfect for a gift for your sister or for like a birthday or a best friend or even to yourself and I just think this is super duper girly and really cute and I might even start making them and doing a giveaway with them or something. I don't know. I don't know yet. So go ahead and add your brushes in and make the look very finalized and really cute and give it a thumbs up if you like this tutorial. I worked really hard on it and I think it's really really cute and I'm actually really proud of how it turned out. So let me know what you think in the comments below. I love you guys and I will see you right now, I guess. <laughs>